Coach, it was 2008 when we all thought the game could be safer and we could change the rules. And that's when targeting and all the rules that relate to the safety of the players came in. I don't want to get in the weeds about the specific rules, but I think it's been long enough now that it's worked. I always say if, if we've saved one serious injury, head injury, spinal cord injury, and we've had a hundred bad calls, it was still worth it, right? And I think everyone, I think everyone feels that way. And I think the people that want to tweak it now really want to tweak the penalty more than the rules. Well, I was watching a game earlier this year and some player was sitting out the first half because he had a targeting penalty at the end of 2019. And that's when I said, this is ridiculous. So let's talk about that. First of all, do you feel good about the progress we've made with the safety of the game. I do and I give you a unique perspective. I give you the perspective as a coach for 35 years and then also a parent. In seventh, I didn't let my son play football till seventh grade for that reason. He was little and, and you know, what's well, your kid now, you know, but it's also the incredible values that the game teaches you about selflessness, about diversity, about looking at a brotherhood instead of, you know, it's the greatest. My daughters played volleyball. They'll, they'll tell you the day that one owns a business, one's a president of a company. They learn more on the, on the court, volleyball court, than they ever did in the classroom. I'm not devaluing the classroom, but right. when you're talking about people, is there anything better than a team? So the game of football has never been safer. And once again, as a parent, uh, I let my son play, and he's playing college football now, and I, I'm fine with it. You know, of course, I want to be safe and all that, but the game, Jerry, has never been safer. So I would say, has the intent and has the rule worked? Absolutely. I also think the game's never been more dangerous. Like, I've been connected to the game my entire life. People I played the game with, they've lost touch. I don't think former players, I don't know what year you go back, have no idea how great athletes are playing, Olympian athletes, playing in space, colliding, like we, we couldn't move fast enough to collide, right? These are unbelievable athletes. So the past generation, I don't think really has a good sense of this. You and I do because That's we, interesting. It's a little slower game back in the day than well, it is. Lots, lots. Yeah. So we played it in a box, right? Yeah. We were average athletes playing in a box. Now we're Olympians playing in space. Yeah. So what about the penalties? Well, I was on those uh, uh, AFC, American Football Coach Association meetings, and, and uh, Todd Berry does it. I love him, by the way. And he's the president of the AFCA. And it's just constant communication. And, and I think there's a agreement and it's pretty much unanimous that the penalty has to fit the crime and there's a couple key words and one is willful intent and launch those are the ones that cause me the if there's a willful intent to launch myself into someone with my head down he's out of the game he can't play you know if the game of football i see a couple of these you know it's happened to us where i mean it's bang bang and you're right here and there's no intent whatsoever it's just right. someone that's a 15 yard penalty but the player, once again, the most important people in, the, in this conversation is the player. Maybe sit out, he's out for five players or something, but get him back in the game. You know, I'm glad they changed the rule. You got to walk off like you're, you know, right. in, the, in the crowd booing and you're right. doing that. that. Was what are progress. you doing? That's right. wrong, that was man. Good. Don't do that. Right. That was probably I'm glad they changed yes. it. Yes. But you can't have, you know, when, when Sean Wade hit Trevor Lawrence in the national chat, that changed the game. When he got thrown out of the game, was it the right call? And I get, Ohio State fans get really upset me when I said it was the right call. By the rule, it's the right call. He hit him in the head-to-head -head hit, but Trevor ducked into it so that it was one of those like this, and there was no intent whatsoever. So yes, it's a 15-year penalty, which is that a tough penalty? It's an awful penalty. Maybe he's out for a play or two, or maybe a quarter, but get him back in the game. Now, if there's, once again, willful intent and launch, when I launch into someone, and that's the intent to hurt someone, or that's when you're exposing your own body. You can't do that. I think you're out of the game. The toughest one is when a defender's going to make a tackle and he only can control where he's going and then that ball carrier adjusts. That's it. You know, and if they still want to give a 15-yard penalty, sure. that's fine. Sure. Because I do think 15-yard penalty still is going to make a player think through it. It has changed how we all, coaches, teach the game. You see more knee injuries now, you know, and you right. see more hurtling, you know, players go up, up and, you know, and they're exposing themselves that way. The game has never been safe for the head, for the most part, I think, is out of the game. You bring up a great point about athletes in space. They're Olympian athletes now that are in space, and, and some of them are 250 pounds. Chase Young's of the world. Unbelievable. But 
I can tell you that as far as the, the way people coach the game now, it's saved the game.